John Mayer will stop at nothing to humiliate Jessica Simpson. After their breakup, he was obsessed with her and wouldn't let her go. He even revealed very private details about their sex life to the world. They're intimate details that you don't want the world to know. For years, people have been treating Jessica like a sex object and ditzy blonde. Is this chicken what I have or is this fish? I know it's tuna. Because you're way smarter than her and you know that. Now, it's the last straw. Did you feel betrayed? Absolutely, I felt betrayed. I don't accept it. But John is part of a larger pattern. Not long before Jessica met John, her husband, Nick Lachey, said this. First of all, breasts real or fake? I say they're fake. Absolutely real. 100%. Really? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. They're, they're great. They're big. No, she is, a, she is a gift from God. Two gifts from God, actually. How could he talk that way about his wife? I mean, this is nothing new for Jessica. She's been objectified since she was a kid. I was even judged um, in the church uh, growing up. I had to wear like blazers, vests, turtlenecks. I was this preacher's daughter who was mm -hmm. always covered up on stage. Right. Then when Jessica got signed as a pop star when she was just 17, she was told to showcase her body. After the church, it was like, no, be sexier. She really had to wear her pants lower and pull her shorts up higher and, you know, show more cleavage. I couldn't look like Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera. And I, I didn't know how to own my body because everybody was telling me how to own it. But when she met Nick Lachey, she thought she found somebody who would love her for who she was. I said, gonna, Mom, that's the man I'm going to marry. Kind of out of the corner of my eye, just like stealing looks at Jessica. I thought she was drop-dead gorgeous. She got married at a little chapel, and Nick was her Prince Charming. Except he wasn't. How, how many times did you bang your wife, your new wife, on your wedding night? I think it was two. But would I marry her? Because you're way smarter than her, and you know that. I feel bad for her that her own husband isn't even standing up for her while Howard is calling her stupid. Yeah, she kind of got labeled as a ditzy blonde when her and Nick starred in one of the first reality TV shows ever. Is this chicken what I have or is this fish? I know it's tuna, but it, it says chicken by the sea. It was all like stiff and rigor mortis. Rigor who? You have to admit, she kind of made herself look a little dumb blonde. Yeah, I mean, we've all said things that we'd probably be embarrassed about if the whole world heard it, but the backlash against her was ruthless. Seriously, you guys, it's totally mean. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I've known Jessica for a long time, and I, I know she's not going to cure cancer, okay? And to be honest, I wouldn't even trust her to cure a ham. Aww, oh, the ham is sick. But while the world was making fun of Jessica, she realized that she didn't want to do the show anymore, and on top of that, her relationship with Nick was breaking down. I would watch episodes back and I yeah. didn't like what I saw. We weren't the golden couple anymore. I couldn't stay in something that felt destructive. Mm -hmm. And I needed to be free to be myself. And despite all of Nick's bragging and swagger, Jessica was actually worth seven times more than he was when they got divorced. Just from her music? Actually, a year before the divorce, Jessica started her own clothing line, and it was a huge success. And it was reported that she had to pay Nick $10 million in assets. So this guy's dumb blonde wife that he's so much smarter than actually set him up for life. Exactly. So Jessica finally struck out on her own, and she was defying people's labels of her. But not long after she broke free from Nick, she got into another toxic relationship. Jessica Simpson and John Mayer spotted together. They have become Hollywood's most on and off couple. Jessica and John's relationship was very tumultuous. He broke up with her nine times. Nine times? Not only did he break up with her nine times, he broke up with her nine times by email. Like, why would she keep taking him back? The songs that he would write, I mean, they would bring me back in. I mean, he made everything sound beautiful, so I thought the next time around, like, it was gonna yeah. be better, yeah. and then it would just, it was like a cycle yeah. that I couldn't even keep up yeah. with. I had always prided myself on being smarter than everyone thought I was. For a long time, he took that from me. He made me feel dumb. My anxiety would spike and I would pour another drink. While it did take nine times, after the last breakup, Jessica finally moved on from John. But John didn't move on from Jessica. Mayor dishes about his sex life with Simpson. Sexually, it was crazy. It was like napalm, sexual napalm. Jessica was furious. He had just reinforced that label of her as a sex object that she'd been dealing with her whole life. But unlike with Nick, she decided to strike back. I was so disappointed. 
and him. It made me it made me so sad. To talk about anybody sexually is disrespectful. He was trying to make a joke, but it wasn't a joke. I don't accept it. But that same year, she finally found someone who accepted her for who she was. And then two years later, she started a family. When I found the love of my life and started my family, I could just be me. They are the foundation I have built my life on. Everything seemed to be going pretty perfectly, but something was wrong. And have you written a song yet? I have about, um, I probably have about 38. So maybe 36 or 39. <laughs> Fans wondered if she'd been drinking. She had. I can't even watch the interview. Yeah. Um, it was a weak moment for me. Yeah. Um, and I wasn't in the right place. I had started a spiral. What happened to her? Why was she drinking like that? Jessica's past had been haunting her. You were sexually abused mm -hmm. from the ages of six to 12. Yes. Yeah, by a female uh, family friend mm -hmm. who was just a year older yes. than you. She was being abused as well. I knew it was wrong, what was going on. I never wanted to share these like sexual things that were happening because I didn't want to hurt anybody. Like it was bad enough that she was sexualized her whole life, but then to find out that she went through that when she was just a little kid, it like makes it even worse. She probably didn't want to be sexy. She probably didn't want to be seen. Then you have your partners making crazy comments about you. Where do you hide? Where yeah, do you and like, where do you heal? Yeah, and on Halloween, that's when everything just took a turn for the worse. I was happy that I could be in costume because I was so broken. She was drinking constantly. On Halloween of 2017, she started at 7 in the morning. I didn't end up taking the kids trick-or-treating. I fell asleep on the stairs. Jessica knew that she couldn't keep burying her pain. I knew I had to face my fears and do it sober. I was actually hiding from myself. Mm -hmm. And um, I knew the only way to not hide from myself was to show up for myself. You were talking about the sexual abuse that yes. you experienced as a child. And that's why I wanted to talk about it because if my daughter were to have ever been experiencing that, I want to know mm -hmm. immediately. This guy had been treated as a sex object her whole life and now she was speaking out for all women. For anybody that's experienced sexual abuse, I think it's important to confront the abuser, if that's how we use that pain to be stronger. Yeah. And the ditzy blonde's clothing empire is not worth a billion dollars. The Jessica Simpson collection is making clothes in all sizes. I need to embrace every woman, every size, because I can relate to that woman, and I need to make everyone feel as beautiful as they possibly can feel. Now I'm strong enough to deal with anything that comes my way. No matter the labels that people try to put on you, you get to decide who you are. It's really just about being as authentic as you possibly can. Nobody's <laughs> telling me what to wear, how to look, uh, you know, and how to be, because I just know now.